In this video, we're going to use Phoenix to solve a PDE, in other words, to find the approximation of the solution to a PDE. And we already know how to approximate the solutions to an elliptic PDE using the finite element method. Uh, first, we mesh the domain. Then, we build the elements. Then, we compute the matrix AH, which is called the rigidity matrix. Uh, and then we compute the vectors BH. And at this point, we solve the linear system AH, UH equal BH. Uh, and then we plot, or we use, the solution that we have just uh, computed. So, I just wanted to introduce our computation uh, video here by reminding you that we basically know how to do everything. Uh, the reason why we are going to use a software to help us is because it will be nice to not have to do everything by hand all the time. However, it is important that you are in, in, that you understand how every single step works. So, uh, what I'm going to do is use, use, the, use Phoenix, and the Phoenix project is an open source software uh, that will allow us to solve these PDs, approximate the solution. Uh, just a little context uh, and history, it started in 2003 as a research collaboration between the University of Chicago and Chalmers in Sweden. And obviously today it includes many other partners. It uses Python, uh, so that is, this is actually the reason why we chose Phoenix at Central Superleg, because we chose Python as a software that we taught you in, during the previous semester, so you know Python, and to, to use Phoenix, well, first you will, need, you will need to install Phoenix, and that, depending on the system you're using, it can be more or less complicated. Sometimes you need to use Anaconda or something different, but I mean, uh, we, 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 we assume at this point that you have installed Phoenix on your system, and then what you will need to do uh, to use it in Python is to do from Phoenix, uh, well, import star, uh, and, and that will actually provide you with the possibility to use Phoenix. Uh, and what we want you to be able to do is to understand the basic uh, functions of Phoenix and to run very simple programs. Now, uh, there is a way to actually go way further in the understanding of Phoenix and to actually work with Phoenix, and that is by using this reference, which, by the way, you can get for free. Here is a link. Uh, that you can use to, to go to the place where it's, uh, you can download the, 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 the book or even buy it, uh, the, the print version if you prefer. Okay, so let's, uh, let's actually get started and let's actually uh, solve a PDE using Phoenix. And we're going to start with uh, a, well, very simple uh, a PDE, which is an ODE, Dimension 1, which we actually solved by hand earlier together. And so here is our, our, our program here, and you can see the program is actually pretty short. Um, so let me explain to you how this works. As we said, you start with the from Phoenix import star because you want to use Phoenix. And also, we're going to want to plot some of the, of the functions. Uh, so we're going to use matplotlib, uh, and so we, we import it as plt. That's a very standard uh, Python, uh, very standard Python comment, as you know. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to mesh the interval 0, 1. And I'm going to say, okay, here is the number of nodes I want. And so that is going to be the first, there's a 20 I put here, is the number of nodes I want in my mesh. And so that mesh will be a variable that will contain the geometry and the mesh of this geometry. Then what I will have is I will consider the, uh, the, 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 the type of elements I will, I, I will want to use. And what I'm saying here is that I will want to use P1 element, which basically is what we did in, in, this, in, in this chapter. Then I am going to define the value of the function on the boundary. In other words, I'm going to, I'm going to define a homogeneous, I mean, a Dirichlet condition 
and obviously here it's going to be a homogeneous Dirac boundary condition. Then I will define a function that will take a point and tell me if it is on the boundary. So uh, basically the, the variable is x, but is, is, is x, x of zero because there is only one dimension. Uh, later when we'll do in, in dimension two, it will be x zero and x one for, for x and y if you prefer. Uh, but here it's, it's x, so that's going to be x zero. And I could say, okay, if x zero equals zero or x zero equal, equals one, then uh, basically I return one, otherwise I return zero. But as you know, an equality between two real numbers is not a good way to do, to, to do the programming here. So it's much better to define a tall tolerance and then verify that x or x zero, x zero here, uh, minus zero, x zero minus one is smaller than the tolerance. Uh, and so that is my function boundary that will basically tell me if I am on the boundary or not. Okay, and then at this point, what I simply have to do is to say, okay, here is going to be the boundary condition, here is going to be uh, my test functions, here is going to be, uh, basically I'm, I'm just describing my uh, bilinear form, I'm describing my linear, my, my, basically I'm, I'm saying here is A, here is L, and uh, eventually when everything is, 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 is put together, so here's the syntax, that you, can, you can just understand how this works, it's, it's, it's very simple. What I'm doing is putting, uh, is putting in the version formulation, and then what I'm saying is, okay, well, I want to, to find the solution, and then I get my solution u. Now, as you can see, uh, I will uh, request that we plot u, and also that we plot the mesh. One will be in blue, the other one will be in orange. And, and basically, PLT show is basically a very standard Python command that will provide me with this graph. So let's actually do it. Let's uh, run Python on this. And here is the solution. As you can see, well, this is uh, the solution that we had computed together earlier. And I also have in orange here my mesh, which is basically the subdivision of my interval. Now, you can see that if I want to replace the boundary condition, uh, the uh, homogeneous directly boundary condition, by something which is, for instance, a u of 0 equals uh, 0, but u of, um, u of 1 equals 1, then I could basically change the boundary condition here. So instead of putting 0, I put x. So obviously, at both ends, it will be 0 and 1. That's just an easier way to do it. Uh, and then in this case, I can just run the program again. So let's run the program again. And here is a new solution. Let's see how this works in dimension two. Well, pretty much the same way as in dimension one. Uh, now, instead of meshing an interval, I'm going to, to mesh a square. So you can see that I'm uh, here, including a square. Uh, the Dirac boundary condition uh, will have to be adapted slightly as well. Here, because it's uh, a, a, a homogeneous Dirac boundary condition, I'm just putting zero. Uh, the boundary, basically what I'm saying is, I, uh, am I on uh, basically one of the, uh, I mean, one of the edges of the square? Um, I could do it uh, this way. You can see, I mean, I, I basically put a comment here because I'm not going to do it this way. That, that's the easy way to understand. But actually, as I said earlier, the best way to do it is with uh, actually programming it this way. Uh, and, and then I'm going to define the version of formulation as I did before. So there is not much to, to see, just the syntax, which has to be understood, or actually unknown. And I'm putting together the uh, the, 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 the versional form, you can see that I'm using del here, uh, del u, del v, if you want. Uh, and then I'm computing the solution and I am going to print it. I'm also printing the error, by the way, that I'm making by uh, replacing u by the approximation. And let me actually just run the program. And here is the solution using colors to represent each value of u.